If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. Hey, could you please shut the F up? I'm trying to record a video. Keep the loudness in that ridiculous helmet of yours. Ah, sorry about that. Behind the scenes he's always doing two things. Making loud noises and copy pasting Dune details from Frank Herbert's 1965 novel. And that's why I've prepared six details that contribute to the similarities of Dune and Star Wars. And to show why he's annoying, I guess. Let's get in. Speaking of the first point. Didn't know you could get- Oh my god! By the way, that's my first point. Both Dune's sandworms and Star Wars' Sarlacc pits are both incredible and terrifying creatures. Even though the sandworms can grow to an estimated 400 meters in height, and the Sarlacc pit, not. They both live in the desert, and their teeth are remarkably similar. But then again, we have to- What is that? I can't see the difference. You pretty much can't anyway, because they're basically the same setting, and both serve as an important part of their stories. But to me, the most notable part is that Arrakis and Tatooine both have two moons circling their planet. I mean, what was George Lucas thinking? <sighs> hmm? He was thinking about saving me. Watch this, I'll just showcase the next point. I have immediate access to the village and a free milk. You have immediate access to the village and a free milk. Thank you. One of the most influential traits in film history is the force. The ability to influence other people just with their brains. But this doesn't just appear in Star Wars. Paul Arrakis and Lady Jessica for instance are two of Dune's protagonists who have the ability to manipulate and control others through the voice. It's basically the same as the Force, except that the Force is also capable of moving entire objects, like an X-Wing fighter. But so far, we've only talked about traits and creatures. Now let's talk about characters. I ask for milk, you piece of sh- Princess Leia, important for the Star Wars plot, uses the Force, and has, literally speaking, an older twin brother. Now which Dune character has extremely comparable traits? There you go. Alia is rather mysterious, but also extremely important to Dune's plot. I've partially talked about this in another video, but she also has mind-controlling abilities and an older brother. I feel like they've broken the term similar. Do you hear that? No, it's not a fight for a Timothy Chalamet selfie. It's two parties fighting to take power over the village. Bunch of sad donkeys. Both Star Wars' Rebel Alliance and Dune's Freeman are groups who fight for freedom against an Imperium. Yet the two groups do have their differences. The Rebel Alliance comes from all over the galaxy, whereas the Freeman only contain people from Arrakis. And from a story point of view, Freeman's ending is much darker than that of the Rebel Alliance. Now finally... The antagonist. Darth Vader and Baron Vladimir Herkunen. What do these two villains have in common? Simple. They both had to deal with one word. Due to spoilers, I'm not gonna say what Baron Vladimir Herkunen had to do with heritage. Whilst with Darth Vader, it has become so famous, just say I am your, um, well, whatever that was, and it will be alright.